How quickly do we reach the light at the end of the tunnel? In Pashat Vayetze, in the midst of the epic dream that Yaakov had, seeing that ladder connecting heaven and earth, Hashem appeared to him and he said, Ufaratzta, your descendants will become dispersed throughout the world. Yama v'kedma v'tzafona v'negba, to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. And the obvious question is, surely the direction should have been either clockwise or anti-clockwise. Why from one extreme to the other? An answer is given in the Yalkut Shimoni, an anthology of Midrashim, commenting on Psalm 20, Yancha Hashem Beyom Tzara, the Lord will answer you on your day of sorrow, which suggests that when the redemption comes, it comes very speedily, like the swing of the pendulum going from one extreme right to the other. There, the Midrash tells the following story about a father and a son, Av Uben, Shayumahalchin Baderich, they were on their way to a destination that the son had never visited before. And after a while, the child became a bit kvetchy, and uh, he said to his father, Abba Heichan Hiya Medina. Father, where is this city that we're going to? I suppose it's an ancient version of the modern, are we there yet? So the father replied to his son, and he said, I'm going to give you a siman, I'm going to give you a sign. Im ra'ita beit ha'kvarot lefanecha, ha'medina krovalach. When you see the cemetery, you will know that we're close to the city. It was a good sign because, as we know, cemeteries are positioned outside the boundaries of the city limits. So therefore, the child would see the cemetery. He would know that they were nearly there. Rabbi Isaac Bernstein noticed brilliantly that in this Midrash, the term for city is not a regular term. It is Medina, which we understand to be the state, the state of Israel. And he went on to explain that this Midrash is actually a prophetic description of what would take place for the Jewish people over two millennia. The father and the child, Hashem and the people of Israel, we've been on a journey ever since the destruction of our temple. And we have continuously turned heavenwards and said, Heichan hiya Medina, when will we return back to Zion to have our own country once again? And now with hindsight, and with a lot of pain and sadness, we realized there was a sign. When we passed through those cemeteries of the Shoah, Auschwitz, Birkenau, Buchenwald, Belsen, and so on, we were nearly there. Within three very short years, we had Hal Medina, back in our hands. The light at the end of the tunnel suddenly appeared to us in the midst of the darkest hours of the history of our people. And this is our prayer, that the Almighty should bless the Jewish people in the state of Israel and around the world, that we speedily will see that light at the end of our tunnel, and that we will enjoy peace and security and happiness and success, and that ultimately, the total redemption will come speedily in our time. Shabbat Shalom.